Good afternoon plant lovers and welcome to the seed organising um, edition. Today I'm going to show you what I bought to organise my seeds as I'm starting to get quite a collection now if you have a look in there. But it's very messy and difficult to manage so I thought now seeing as I'm becoming an official gardener it is time to um, um, organize my seeds properly so what i did is i've ordered this from amazon it's not actually a seed organizer but if i open it up it is this really big expanding a5 file and i thought that this would be perfect for organizing my seeds and um it's got loads of pockets in it so let me show you uh, how I'm going to organise my seeds in this. Okay, so what I've done now is I have sorted them out into months. So we've got January, February, March, April and May. So I've got these months really. And these piles are a mix of vegetables. Like those are aubergine, black beauty. Um, those are tomato seeds. Um, there's all different kind of stuff here. And so these are the January piles. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my January seeds. And I'm going to assign two sections for January because later on I'm going to go and separate them between flowers and um, vegetables. So that's the January ones in there. So that's two and I'll later go and organise it. Then we've got February. Once again, this pile is a mix of flowers and like vegetables and herbs. So I'm going to put that in and I'll split it later. Then, oh, then we've got... So those that's for February. Then we've got March. There's loads there. I'm gonna be. And then we've got April. All of these are the April ones. Okay. And then I've also got um, lots of small packets here from uh, my recent um, mail call from. Uh, my little UK gardener so I am going to sort those as well I've already made a note of when they should be planted um, I still got loads of space here by the way um, which I can think about maybe I want to split it further into herbs and uh, vegetables and flowers um, but yeah I mean this will do for now until I have more time to sit and actually you know really split them up uh, the next thing to do is to label and then I'll get it all labelled up and I'll show you how it looks closed. okay so there we have it it's got the seeds in i've put two tabs for each month because i am going to go back later and separate vegetables and flowers and seeing as i have so much capacity in here all the back is empty what i've decided to do with that is to because I usually keep my flower labels in case I want to refer back to them. So when I've bought like flowers, like there's my um, David Austin flowers, I usually keep the label, the care label, because um, you know they they do have some important information on them usually. So um, I thought I'm gonna keep hang on to those and put them all in one place there. So I've got loads of space, and let me show you how it looks when it's closed. So you know it can go as wide or as short as you want so you just so let me show you how this is gonna close up you are basically going to just get the string loop it over and there you go that is my seeds 
nicely organized it looks like a little handbag doesn't it um so yeah this is good i think it will grow with my expanding needs that's how it looks from the side um so i think that this will grow with me because there's so much capacity i'm going to try not to hog seeds i'm going to only um i'm going to try not to buy any seeds anymore for this um this year because i think i've got enough um and also i've been gifted a lot of seeds as well which was lucky so what i'll do is when it comes to the month i'll go in and i'll check what seeds i should be planting that month and if i don't plant them that month then i will move it to the following month section so then i might be able to plant it the following month there we go that is my seed organizing edition i hope you enjoyed it and I hope this has given you some ideas or some motivation to go and organise your seeds. You don't need to buy anything. If you've got a good container that you can organise yourself, go for it, do a DIY. But I just want something that, you know, would just help keep me on track and uh, categorise all the different seeds. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't already, please show your love and subscribe and take care until next time.